is Monday, April 12th. Back on this day in history, U.S. colonists finally, and for the first time, reached the Pacific Coast at Cape Disappointment, Washington in 1811. Fort Sumter in South Carolina is attacked by Confederate troops, sparking the beginning of the United States Civil War in 1861. In baseball, the catcher's mask is first used in 1877. The famous Hippodrome Theater opens in New York City in 1905. The first U.S. law requiring medical tests for marriage license was enacted in 1938. The NFL changed the penalty for clipping from 25 yards to 15 yards. President Franklin Roosevelt suffers a cerebral hemorrhage and dies in office in 1945. Harry S. Truman is sworn in as the 33rd president that day. Music group Bill Haley in the comments recorded the huge hit Rock Around the Clock in 1954. The polio vaccine developed by Jonas Stalk is approved and released in 1955. Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin becomes the first human to orbit Earth in 1961. The huge storm system produces more than 40 tornadoes from Texas to South Carolina, killing 32 people in 2020. All this happened on this day in history, April 12th. All freshmen will be taking the Island Biology exam on Tuesday and Wednesday, April 20th and 21st, or beginning during periods 2 and 3. Both days, the 7th and 8th grade Island exam is, this, is the week of April 26th through 3rd, the 30th. This month at Union City Junior Senior High School, the Student Council will be conducting student elections for the 2021-2022 school year. Any student currently enrolled in grades 7 through 11 and attends school in person is eligible to run. Interest forms are in the high school office and must be completed and returned to Mr. Hoggett at Northside no later than the, en than the end of the school day today, Monday, April 12th. The Student Council works with the Buildings and Corporations Administration to help create an environment that is conductive to learning and promotes student achievement and involvement. If you are interested in learning more about the Student Council or if you have any questions regarding this process, please don't hesitate to ask. Elections will take place on Thursday, April 29th. In sports over the weekend, in softball, the Lady Indians fell behind early and couldn't come back in a 10-0 loss to South Adams on Saturday. Senior Allie Parton had a double and Skyly Lutz had a single in the first inning. Shannon Smith surrendered nine runs on ten hits over four innings, striking out three. Emily Livingston threw two-thirds of an inning in relief out of the bullpen. UC was sure-handed in the field and didn't commit a single error. Mariah Claywell had the most chances in the field with nine. The girls are back on the field at Missinewa Valley today at 5 p.m. And the ladies also welcome the Winchester Lady Falcons to the, Un the Union City Diamond this Saturday in a Tri-Eastern Conference matchup. The boys' baseball team were at South Adams on Saturday for a single non-conference game. The 2-2 two two Starfire scored five unearned runs and were able to hold the Indians scoreless. Cam LaFuse had a big day going, two for three, with a single and a double. LaFuse also struck out 11 Starfire batters. Jude Connor's single was the Indians' only other hit. The next action for the Indians will be tonight when Knightstown returns to finish the rain stop TEC game that was started last Thursday. The game will resume at 5.30 and every, everyone will be admitted free of charge. Come to support your UC baseball team. The UC band will hold their first concert in a long time this Thursday at 7 p.m. in the gym. It's been a long time since the band has been able to perform, so come out and support the kids and the band program for music to start the spring season off. Don't forget that prom tickets are on sale now for this year's event. Prom will take place on Saturday, April 24th from 8 to 11 p.m. in the high school gym. The prom walk will line up at 7 p.m. at the north side and will start at 7.15. The tickets this year are $25 each. There will be guidelines in place for the students this year due to COVID. Students can select where you sit, but understand that this is where you will be sitting for the evening. We are allowing for eight students per table. There will be a DJ for the night and you are allowed to dance. For any questions, uh, regarding this year's rules and procedures, and for your tickets, contact Mrs. Mendenhall or Mrs. Elmore. There will also be a post-prom held at the Winchester Bowling Alley from midnight to 2 a.m. that Saturday night. There will be a moonlight bowling, pizza, snacks, and drinks, along with many door prizes to be given away, such as Dayton Dragon tickets, movie passes, Nike swag, themed gift baskets, and 32-inch Roku television college fan swag, and gift cards galore. Post-prom is sponsored by Emergency Services of Union City. Tomorrow, the UC track team will travel to Antonia for a four-team meet against Antonia, Covington, and Arcanum. The contest starts at 4.30. And then the team will travel to Selma on Thursday to complete against Wapahani, Blue River, and Seton Catholic in another four-team duel. This contest starts at 5 p.m. Good luck to the UC track team this week.
Every senior athlete needs to complete the survey that they have been emailed for the athletic department and the athletic website. 